day seven. Guys, you have no idea how relieved I am that I'm done with this iPad only challenge because this takes a lot to get used to. I mean, I skipped day six yesterday because I was doing my freelance work and I just needed something that can get my work done in time and done well. Okay, but here it is one week later, here are my thoughts. Using the iPad Pro as my main device, I had to adjust a little bit. So instead of browsers like Chrome, Safari, think apps on your home screen. Browsers, nah, not that important. Rule is if something is important to you, put them on the home screen. WhatsApp is really important to me for work, but they don't really have a native WhatsApp app for the iPad. So I went to Safari and created a shortcut and put it on the home page. And that makes it so much easier to access it. Second tip, shortcuts are a lifesaver to make things so much easier for my workflow. I love to use command space a lot to do a spotlight search of my whole iPad to search for the things I need, for apps that I need to open, for like words that and for specific apps like Photoshop or Lightroom, you may actually want to hold down the command key to see what shortcuts are there for that app. Next, let's talk about keyboard because this keyboard makes this entire iPad setup feel like a laptop and sometimes I even forget that this iPad is touchscreen when I'm using this keyboard. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm doing my work, doing some Photoshop and like, oh damn, I actually can use the Apple Pencil to edit. <laughs> if I were to use this as my main device, I would probably go with the keyboard as well. Besides that, a few other things that I love about this iPad firstly is the display. The larger screen is amazing. Bigger screen size makes things so much easier for work and for watching shows. And speaking of watching shows, Dolby Atmos on this is crazy good. I love it so much. Having Dolby Atmos and that surround sound system just feels so good. It just makes it so much more immersive to watch content on this. I love it. <laughs> Photoshop is amazing on this. Brush tool with the Apple Pencil is super precise. Lightroom's okay, it gets the job done, but I still very much prefer the Lightroom classic layout on my computer. The center stage in FaceTime Call is pretty cool, but it's actually not available on Google Meets or Zoom, so it's only for FaceTime. Speaking of which, screen sharing on Google Meets can get pretty tough. This is when the lack of multitasking, lack of screen real estate really shows. During a meeting, I had to prepare three different windows on the iPad to show a demonstration. Whereas on the Mac, I can have all my windows on one screen and just show everyone, all of them, all in a glance. So, for me, that is so much easier. That aside, I have to say, the face on camera on this is so much better than on the Mac. Next, the Liquid XR display. Well, it's brighter, so if you bring this out and you work outside where the sunlight is really harsh, maybe this would be awesome for that. But besides it being brighter, there's nothing significant that I noticed that's worth mentioning. But here's the thing, guys. The reason for this entire video is to find out if I can actually replace my laptop with this latest M1 iPad Pro, which is supposed to be one of the more powerful iPads in the market right now. However, very quickly into using this, I realized this one factor that is hindering all of that, and that is multitasking. I've gotten so used to my dual monitor display that I feel like when I'm working in this space, I feel like there's so many things I want to open to have on the top and the right, but I just can't do it with this. The most multitasking that this iPad can do, maximum two windows open side by side, that's all. And you may think, yes, that's actually pretty good because having so many browsers open, so many things open all at once may actually distract me. And so yeah, maybe with the iPad Pro, with that side-by-side -side minimal multitasking, it might be better for my focus. But no, I felt constricted within this box and I realized just how much insane multitasking I actually did. This is how my screens look like on a typical day. I usually have browsers with a lot of tabs open, calendar, WhatsApp, Telegram, all my communications on this monitor. And on the right, I would have all my work in progress windows open, the notes app and Word doc or pages. 
the amount of windows I need to have open is insane. And this actually helps me focus so much better because I know the things that I need to refer to are just there. Yes, you can hook this up, connect it to an external display, but that display is actually mirroring this iPad display. So you just have a larger display and not more screen real estate. You just can't really go crazy with multitasking on the iPad Pro. And that's one huge factor that is preventing me from making this my main device. The thing is, the M1 chip in this is a tech that made me think that this entire thing had the potential to replace a laptop. But iPad OS really, really, really needs to up its game in order to take full advantage of that M1 chip. So the big question, can this replace my laptop? No, definitely no for me. Not unless you give me my multitasking, change iPad OS, upgrade it somehow, or you just wipe my memory, make me forget everything, and make me relearn how to use the iPad Pro as my main device, my sole device. Don't even let me know about laptops because I will be tempted then. No laptops, just the iPads. And maybe just then, just then, <laughs> this will become my main device. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing on your computer? What's a computer? What's a computer? But that's just me. If you're asking, I would say it really depends on your workflow. This is perfect for people who don't need to multitask that much, who don't like to have so many windows open up on your browser, on your screen. So yep, that's it. Let me know what you think. Are you up for that challenge to replace your laptop with the iPad? Let me know, everything mentioned will be linked below. If you enjoyed this, hit subscribe to help the channel reach 10k subs by the end of this year. Take care, stay maintained and cherry. Goodbye! Oh.